The Night in Question, the new documentary from Louis Theroux airing tonight, Monday, March 4, on BBC 2 at 9pm. To watch The Night in Question, you can catch the hour-long episode as it airs on TV or stream it live via the BBC iPlayer. The night in question follows through at an American college campus, speaking to students who have been accused of assault and tackles the topic of aisle consent. Who is Saifla Khan? Saifla Khan, also known as Saif, is one of the students that Louis Theroux interviews about assault allegations. Saif is a neuroscience student at Yale University and first enrolled in 2012. He was been accused of raping a student at the university in 2015, which the specialist administrators at the university were investigating independently when Theroux met Saif. Saif was found not guilty of four counts of al assault in March 2018 in a court of law but the university-led investigation was still going ahead at the time of the documentary. Following the original court case, he was allowed to re-enroll at the university. However, he was suspended again from Yale in October 2018 after new allegations of violent physical assault came to the surface. This meant he was not allowed to be on the Yale campus or attend any of his classes. In response, Khan has filled a suit against Yale, contesting the emergency suspension. Saif has always denied all allegations of al assault against him. According to the New York Times, Saif is 25 years old. A snippet of the official synopsis describing Theroux and Saif's encounter reads, though Saif continuously pleads his innocence, Louis is drawn into an increasingly complex world, where separating fact from fiction becomes increasingly challenging. What is the night in question about? The Night in Question is a one-hour-long documentary from award-winning journalist Louis Theroux. Theroux visits U.S. college campuses to speak to survivors of al assault and speak to those who have been accused. He will also meet the special administrators who are employed to prevent al harassment and al violence on college campuses. The existence of these special administrations means that even if a defendant is found not guilty in court, they can be considered guilty by the university and will be put under investigation. The topic of aisle consent will be explored and what that actually means to students. The official synopsis reads, as reports of al violence have dramatically increased in recent years, the government has urged U.S. colleges to enforce a stricter code of al conduct amongst students. Employing specialist administrators to carry out investigations into alleged misdemeanors. They now have the power to permanently exclude those they deem responsible. For the victims of al assault, these new processes, which require less stringent levels of proof than criminal cases, have allowed accusations that might have never been heard in a court of law to be vindicated. But alleged perpetrators believe the attempt to be more vigilant about rape and assault has turned into an overreaction that tramples on due process and harms innocent people. At their start of this journey, Louis meets a neuroscience major called Saif Khan, who has been accused of raping a fellow student. His university is investigating the claims separately even though Saif has been found not guilty in a court of law. Though Saif continuously pleads his innocence, Louis is drawn into an increasingly complex world where separating fact from fiction becomes increasingly challenging. He also meets young women whose claims of al assault have previously fallen on deaf ears, who believe that a new approach to handling allegations of crimes is not only necessary but long overdue. One such student is Molly Johnson, whose experience is a powerful reminder that there is now a broader understanding of what al assault looks like. The night in question airs tonight on BBC Two at night.